In this video, we'll be going over the gravimetric analysis lab, and uh, what we'll be doing is trying to determine an unknown, an unknown group one metal carbonate. So um, we don't know what this is. We do know that there's a two there, since we know that it's some metal from group one, and group ones always make a plus one. So it could be so M could be lithium, sodium, potassium rubidium or cesium so we don't know what it is um so what one of the first steps we're going to do is um we're going to weigh our unknown so we're going to get between one and two grams i think it is um so we weigh this is like our first step so we weigh our unknown on some paper um and then we transfer our unknown to a beaker um and then we add a certain amount of water so make sure you check out the procedure and, and see uh, how much we're supposed to weigh or how much water we're supposed to add. Okay, so we're going to dissolve our uh, our carbonate. So it should solubilize and it should disappear. So, um, And then one of the next things we're going to do is um, we're going to get a certain amount of calcium chloride. So we're going to get some calcium chloride and this will be in solution. Um, I can't I can't recall the actual concentration of the calcium chloride, but we're but we're gonna get some uh, a solution of calcium chloride. Um, I think we get 25 or 50 milliliters. Um, next, we're gonna add this to the solubilized group one carbonate. So we're gonna get get a precipitation reaction. We're gonna get this plus calcium chloride, which makes uh, which makes MCL plus so MCL is actually going to be our um, that's actually going to be our spectator the spectator ions and uh, and then we get calcium carbonate and this is our precipitate so um, we're gonna um, Basically, we're going to uh, set up our, our filter in our funnel. So we're going to use a filter paper, um, put this in our funnel. Um, and then this beaker will be this beaker here. Um, and then we're going to add, so what they're using right here is a glass stir rod to help aid um, the, trans the transfer of the calcium carbonate um, into, the, into this. So what's actually filtering out is actually our uh, spectator ions. So this is going to be M and... CL minus. So actually, our unknown metal actually ends up in here, but I'll tell you why that's uh, actually not important. Is because this is this is what we want. This is going to be done in excess, the calcium chloride. So what that means is this will be in excess, and what that means is it should precipitate all of this, so that so all of the CO three two minus should become solid calcium um, carbonate so what that means is if we get the mole amount of this um, and then we um, if we get the mole amount of this and we weighed this at the beginning from over here in step one then uh, all we have to do is if if we get the mole of this we can use stoichiometry and get the mole of this since this since this one is fully consumed, then all of the calcium we can ensure that all of this calcium carbonate came from this, so we can go mole of this to mole of this, and then since we since we weighed this at the beginning, we'll have the grams. So we'll have grams. Let's say it's like one point two zero four grams. Okay, of unknown. And then what we're gonna do is let's say we weigh, we weigh this at the end, so we filter it. We take our, uh, we carefully remove this filter paper, um, and then we weigh this at the end. This erase our, un our unknown. So this is our calcium carbonate, and we weigh this. It's it's like a white powder, and let's it let's say it comes out to be like one point. I don't know, one point one zero two grams of calcium carbonate. Um, all we have to do is go. Um, so change this. Use the molar mass of calcium carbonate so one mole calcium carbonate I'm not sure what the molar mass is but you you put in the molar mass here 
Okay, and then um, it's a one-to-one. -one. Actually, let's see. There's two of those, and then it's balanced. So it's one mole of M2CO3 reacted for every uh, for every one mole of calcium carbonate formed. Okay, and this gives our this actually gives us our moles of the unknown. And since we weighed it at the beginning, we actually have this from the beginning. What we do then is we take, so what we do is take this number um, and we get whatever grams it was. And this is like from the beginning. Begin, beginning, whatever. Um, and then divide that by moles of the unknown. So we have gram, grams of unknown divided by moles of unknown. Okay, and then grams over mole will give us the molar mass of our unknown because our units are grams over mole. And then since we know, um, we don't have to check the whole periodic table, we know it's uh, from group one. So that's, that part is what um, we'll actually know going into the lab. So all we have to do then is compare our molar mass to the different molar masses of group one carbonates. Okay, there's another way too. You could actually subtract the. Um, you you could take your molar mass and then subtract one the mass of one one uh, carbonate. Um. So the, the molar mass here of the unknown. And you subtract the mass of one uh, the molar mass of a carbonate one carbonate um, and then if you divide by two this should give you the mass of the unknown metal or the uh, molar mass sorry uh, grams per mole of the metal ion okay so that's the end of our um, this this video for that should go with the lab um, your lab drawings should look like this. So you should actually have, so I was going off memory, so I don't know these amounts that we're supposed to use here. Um, so your, your, uh, your pre-lab drawing should have all of these things um, and then label them with the steps that you're doing. So I started to kind of, so I used arrows and I was using labels like step one, you weigh it. Step two, you transfer it to a beaker, you add some water. Step three, you do this, okay, and so on and so on. Okay, and so do a little drawing and then label each one like what you're doing. So like label this as like your unknown is going into the beaker. Okay, and then your calcium chloride is also going to the beaker. Okay, and then um, over here, what are you pouring into the filter paper is actually calcium carbonate. Your precipitate is going down here. Or, uh, I'm sorry, and then your spectators are going here. So do, do your best to try to label all the pictures and diagrams. All right.